Hello, this is my first video of the night and I will be teaching you how to update the Galaxy S to the new version of Android which is 2.2, also known as Froyo. This is only applicable to those with unlocked phones at the moment and those phones with the right product code. Don't ask me what they are because I'm not entirely sure. Um, but those of you with phones on different network carriers such as O2 or T-Mobile will be getting their version update pretty shortly I should imagine. I'm guessing they're just making a few minor tweaks. But anyway, this is uh, a how-to for the uh, not so tech savvy and I'll be showing you exactly what to do to get the latest software on your phone and I shall start exactly from the beginning. What you'll need for this is a Samsung Galaxy S just ignore the cleaning cloth um, a cable that is provided in the box a computer that has keys or if not I'll be showing you how to get it anyway and a couple of cups of tea for the uh, the minor weights that you'll experience while things are downloading onto different bits and bobs you can't really uh, interrupt it anyway first things first make sure the phone has a pretty good charge on it as you can see there it is charging when it's plugged in anyway but before you plug it in make sure it has a pretty good charge next you need to get keys on your computer if you go to google and type in keys k-i-e-s and then the first result and then this is their software and you can download it there basically you'll download a version of keys there uh, let it download as normal, it might take a, a, about 10 minutes or so um, it will go quicker depending on your internet connection and then once you have it you can open it up Oh, I've already got it running. I'm cheating. <laughs> um, and you want first time you open it, you'll get a prompt asking you to update to the latest version. You need to do this in order to update the Samsung Galaxy S. So make sure you do. That might take a little while as well. Mine downloaded pretty quickly though. But at the end of the day, you want this version, version 1.5.3. Point one oh one oh three underscore one hundred, and that's the version you need to update to Froyo. Once that's done, you can plug in the Galaxy S. And first time you plug it in, around this area, you might get um, a notification saying there's device drivers installing. Let it install, and assuming that everything goes okay, you'll then get a autoplay notification on the screen which is one of those and it should say GTI 9000 that's just the uh, the model number of the Galaxy S just cross this off because you don't actually need it and then we can get back to Kies then you should notice in the corner of the screen you can't just see it there but it says GTI 9000's firmware can be upgraded please click here to upgrade the firmware that's okay we can upgrade it then if you don't get that notification then your version well your version of 2.2 hasn't been rolled out yet if you do all is fine and dandy make sure you tip tick backup contacts before upgrading firmware this way the computer will save a copy of your phone numbers so just it usually does it automatically so I've just named it contacts 07 and then save and then it should say save to PC complete and then you can OK it and then another screen will come up telling you what versions you're running on the phone already and what the latest version is now the latest version is also named as PDA colon JPO slash phone colon jpp slash csc colon jpo this is froyo so what we do now is click upgrade click 
click yes if you get this pr command prompt and then you'll get a warning make sure that the only device you're upgrading is connected disconnect all other devices back up your data before upgrading firmware to pre prevent against possible data loss that's all it's always a good idea to back up your data so if you've got any photos or anything that you really want to save um, or any applications make sure it's all backed up usually it goes on no problem but you know it's always better to be safe than sorry and then once you've read through that click all information has been verified and then you can go on to the next step and then you can up, there's a screen where it can save your phone numbers to a specific ser server for two years it's entirely up to you whether you let it do it um, you can click proceed without saving there's actually no phone numbers on the, this Galaxy S it's the first time I've got it out the box so I'm going to proceed without saving and now as you'll see it says file download downloading from the server do not remove the mobile device from your PC while downloading and this can take a while so what I'll do I'll pause now and then we'll come back once it's downloaded or nearly downloaded and I'll take you through the next steps while you're waiting go get yourself a cup of tea get a chocolate biscuit and put your feet up for about 10 minutes and I'll talk to you in a little while once all the binary files have downloaded you'll get this screen and it says upgrading firmware do not disconnect a mobile device from the PC during upgrade process you see that it says upgrade is in process the upgrade has started um, just leave it do what it's got to do this is the most dangerous bit um, basically if you unplug the phone or turn it off while it's doing this you can cause a bit of damage uh, and just to reiterate that fact there's a little man or a little android with who looks like he's sweeping some leaves and it says do not turn off target and there's a little progress bar there and there's a progress bar there here so just let it do what it's going to do and I shall be back with you shortly once it's completed this one doesn't take so long so maybe you just go and get a chocolate bar while this one's waiting it's not bad this uh, upgrading phone business and I'll talk to you shortly told you I wouldn't be too long and there the progress bar has completed and now if you look at the phone it's now doing something else you'll see all these files going up and that's just it's running through its operating system update and everything so don't worry and you'll get this on the screen GTI 9000 upgrade completed when the firmware upgrade is complete the device will be rebooted which is what's happening now. Now don't worry, this little glowy screen, this can hang around for about three or four minutes. Um, so don't panic if you think yours is taking ages. It does sometimes. Um, it's just doing its thing, updating stuff, rebooting. It's best to have it right than, you know, than things go drastically wrong so just let it be don't touch anything maybe go and get another cup of tea I know it's full of cup of teas this upgrading business and there we have it it's stopped glowing and it's now running Android 2.2 congratulations that is how you update your phone and the next video I'll uh, show you will be how to um, oh well it won't be a how to it'll be showing you all the features that the new Android version does thank you very much for watching as always likes comments are always appreciated and you can always vi visit my twitter at Stacey Mobler or you can check out my blog at www.samsung stay sorry www.stacysamsungmobler.blogspot.com Thanks.